Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to export a signed APK using Android Studio. I'm going to use a test application from buzztouch.com that I have and I'll show you how to export it, create a certificate, and generate a signed releasable APK. <clears throat> so start by firing up Android Studio which I've already done and I've also already loaded the Playtime app which is my kind of play around with app uh, into Android Studio and if you want to know how to do that there is a, a tutorial that shows you how to do that that I've already created and it's on my YouTube channel so go ahead and check that out but what we want to do now is generate the signed APK so that we can release it to the Google Play Store so we have everything in here everything is all configured the way it should be um, so what we want to do is to build Generate signed APK. Now, they may ask you for the password for your master database. Um, if you've already set it, you should know what it is. If you haven't set it, then you can set it to whatever you want, and then it'll proceed you to this screen. It's going to ask you for the module or the app that you want to do. Uh, this is the only one that's available, so I'll pick that. And now it's asking for the uh, key store path and all that kind of stuff. Now. This is already pre-installed in here because when I did the last tutorial, um, this is the information I used for the debug key store. So, but you also have the options of creating a new one or choosing existing. If you already have a release key store from previous apps that you've published, you can do the choose existing and go ahead and navigate to where it is and pick it. Um, and you may have that release key store already set if you've done other apps because you can use the same release key store for all of your apps. Um, but if you don't have a set, you're going to want to do a create new. And we'll go ahead and just say, we'll call this uh, release test key store. I'm going to give it a password. And I'm just going to use password in this instance. And the alias, so you need to provide some sort of alias, so we'll just call this our release key, key store. And again, you want a password. We we'll use the same one. The uh, debug key store that comes with your Android Studio install and the Eclipse install um, is the password is Android for both of them. So uh, you need a validity of at least 25 years. I'm going to go ahead and bump this up to 32 because that takes care of a lot of stuff. So for the certificate part, you can fill out as much as you want or as least as you want, but I believe you have to have at least your first and last name. So I'll go ahead and call this Mark Fleming. Um, it's kind of the name of my little company. <laughs> um, call it App Division. Actually, it should be the other way around. So this organization could be like your company name and then the organizational unit would be like uh, the department you're in or something like that. Soro Valley. And so that's all the information that you need to, uh, to provide in order to create your release key store. So go ahead and hit OK. And that's all the good stuff in there. So I'll hit Next. Now, this is asking for the for the uh, destination folder for the APK, so it can be wherever you want. The build type is debug or release. We're going to hit release instead of debug, and we'll hit finish. And if you watch down here at the bottom, it tells you what it's doing. So right now it's generating the APK, signing it with our release key store that we just created. And again, you can use a release key store that you already have. That's not a problem, and I would actually recommend that you create a release key store and use that for multiple apps. Um, you need to make sure you guard that with your life. Make triple backups of it, because if you lose your release key store, any app that you have signed with that release key store, you will not be able to update in the Google Play Store. You have to sign all the updates to your app with the same key store that you signed it with initially, and that's the only way that you can update it. So if you lose that key, and then you have to 
um, regenerate one and then regenerate the whole thing. So you notice we got an error here. It's only one error, fortunately. And what we did is we have the debug mode hard coded into the Android Manifest.xml file. And I forgot to remove that. Um, so they don't like it when you have the debuggable set to true for the release key store or the release factor. So all we have to do kill this line. Make sure we have the trailing uh, bracket here, or whatever it's called. And then we'll save. And, uh, and then we'll go ahead and give this another shot. So we'll do build, generate signed APK. Module is the same thing. Key store, we've already created it, so this is already populated in here because we had the remember password thing. Doing release again, and we'll hit finish. And hopefully, it'll work this time. Kind of look at the bottom here and see what the uh, progress is. But again, remember, you have to take out the debuggable equals true when you're doing a release um, APK. So there may be some way around it, but uh, I haven't seen one yet. All right. So the APK is successfully generated. You can do a reveal and finder to make sure that you know where it is. And here it is right here. So this is a APK that has been signed with the release key store that we created. Uh, this key store actually. And uh, it is now ready to be uploaded into the Google Play Store. So that is how you create a release APK using Android Studio and giving you the option to either create a release key store or use a key store that you already have. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, of course, you can contact me through the YouTube channel or through buzztouch.com. And I hope this has been helpful. And uh, good luck with your app development. And we will talk again on a later video. Have a great day.